name is Chris. Every time I've introduced myself to people as Chris, they'll be like, oh, I have a friend named Chris. You can be Chris 2 or Chris 1. I just be like, you know what? Just call me Vance. Forget it. You know what's funny? Like in uh -huh. my circle of friends and family, there's like three Chris's and one of the one of the daughters brought home a boyfriend who's also named Chris. And we said, you know what? There's too many Chris's. Your name's Peter now. And jokingly, like trying to be nice, he was like, haha, okay, cool. And now his name is actually Peter. Oh god, that's We sucks. don't call him Chris at all. <laughs> he is Peter. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Dang. Wow. That's why I just introduced. <laughs> I just that's why I just introduced myself with my tag. I was like, I'm Vance. Do you have another name? Yes, but don't worry about it. I mean, Vance is a name, right? Yeah, shout out to shot Peter. People named Vance. People used to ask me like, "Oh, so do you like Vance Joy?" It's like some artist that was popular for a cool minute. I was like, "No, I did not get the tag from him." Wait, who's Chris supposed to be playing? Uh, who is Chris supposed to be playing? It's a great question. I had the answer at one point. Why this fool type good morning? Maybe it's morning it's not where he morning is. morning anywhere. Well, that's not true. But Animal Crossing Village can, can be morning if I wanted to. No. Uh, let's see. Oh, Game & Watch. No, I don't. I didn't mean who he uses. Oh, fighting Chris. Like, who is supposed to be in this room? <laughs> oh, El Fury. Who? El Fury. El Fury, like Mexican, like Spanish. No, like the the letter L and Fury. Oh. Well, I was like, like you talking about in Spanish, you fly or like? What? That would be oh. El Fury. El Fury. Remember El Fuerte? God, I hate uh, that character. How could I forget El Fuerte? That guy I was didn't awesome. like him, but I liked the guy that was really good. I did not like fighting El Fuerte in Street Fighter of War. Uh. Oh, so the L stands for Luma. Case that explains why he plays Rosalina. Hey, Rosa? Yo. Pretty impressive. To get this far, Rosa. I haven't seen this matchup though. I don't even know if have Meister and the Buzz played. I can't remember. Yes. I guess they did. Genesis yes. Seven. Genesis Seven. Oh, I'm guessing Meister won that. I I remember because Charlie was really upset because he could he could have beat the Buzz the whole car ride home. He was talking about it. Well, not really the whole car ride, but in the car ride home he talked about it. What did what did saying El Fury activate Siri to do? Three, two, what? I'm reading the chat. Oh. So I recently discovered Hey Google. Oh on my no! Phone. Wow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop there, bro. <laughs> yeah, in case people have like some weird Google thing, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> I remember people used to troll the Tarot Street. <laughs> By because he has a Google. Dude, home. that was, but he would laugh. He would yeah, laugh at all. It's still really, game, so like really someone does it in the middle of you sending a text message. Hey Google, turn off the lights and then like everything goes off in the house. Best one. Like, was. Someone does like a donate message that says that. Honestly, in this matchup though, like like because Talbot asking you know, who wins this matchup, I honestly think like it's pretty doable for Rosa. Like I think it's a little bit in her favor just because like her ain't name of the game. Keep keep zoning, and Luma and some of her hitboxes actually have like enough tools and disjoints to actually like give Game and Watch a little bit of trouble. Game and Watch loses to like a character with with like a sword or or some kind of tool he, they can poke with, and in this case. Having an actual, like, second character you can use from a distance is pretty solid. Yeah, I agree with that. And Rosa, well, doesn't kill as early as before, but still early enough by the game watch standards could be light, so... Yeah, so. I don't know if her down air or her up air beats Game & Watch's down air, but... Like, the fact that it's disjoint could probably help. I haven't really seen this matchup too often. 
Oh, that was yeah, nice. I don't think a that lot was, of people have seen true, this a lot. The down yeah. air to up smash? It's guaranteed. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't heard of this guy before. L Fury 20, but uh, yeah, as I expected, <laughs> he's good with Rosa. <laughs> so like, only people that are doing like this far with Rosa are like really good with the character. You, you would have to be right, unless you got lucky and got like five DQs or something. Yeah, other than the Buzz and like Japanese players, I don't see anyone else play this character. I think it's because like. As a character, the character fell off for like some of the changes the character had from Smash 4 to Ultimate. So a lot of people dismissed the character, but like the narrative that we were having originally this year was a lot of players were going back to their original mains. Like we saw Void go back to Sheik, the, uh, the Buzz go back to Rosa, and then they started putting results with their original characters. And it pretty much put a character like Rosa and Sheik to be still considered a great character. It's just not a lot of representation. Wasn't yeah. Olimar the Buzz's original character? Yeah. I mean, Smash 4, Smash 4, like, I'm talking about the- yeah, but it is Olimar. Yeah. The Buzz, uh, I'm glad that he went back to playing Rosa. I think him being, like, dual main, Olimar and Rosa has been working really well for him. Like, these days, it's almost looking like he's a Rosa main and, like, Olimar is secondary. Yeah, Olimar for the bad matchups. Yeah. I think he also has a low opinion of all my despite still like playing him. <laughs> Alright, finally gets that first stock off. It's kinda crazy that was his first stock he lost playing Care like Rose. I guess that just attests to what she said, but like, it's difficult for Game Watch to get past the Luma. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where like if you have literally if you have a stick and you could you could tell Game of Watch to, you know, try to try to anti air or space this, and then Game of Watch really struggles because he doesn't have that much of a disjoint unless it's forward air or back air, and air to like a lot of degrees. But he still has to get close, and he commits to those buttons. Oh, do you see? Oh, I guess it isn't. Does it work in this game? Oh, oh. Yes, I think I've seen a couple clips of it, but I haven't really seen it much in tournament play. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Like. Before, if they if they mash jump in that situation, they would uh, get air released into up smash by Luma. But it doesn't matter. He still got the clean edge guard. That was actually just clean play in general. Yeah. From a uh, L three twenty. Someone in the chat says Rosa wins this. Plus, Plus one. one. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of submitted my thesis paper on why I think Rosa wins. Rosa winning a matchup. Who would have thought an irrelevant matchup? Man, what I would have never. I would have missed this though. You lost to Meister, huh? Meister's a whole different beast, though. Yeah, that's true. It, it's it's like one of those things. Like I tell people, like elegant. Luigi has a couple of losing matchups that I've talked to Elegant about, and he's told me, like, oh, Luigi loses. It's just, I'm me. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, I get it. So it all depends on the player, really, at that point. It, it, when it comes down to, like, character versus character, the matchup is considered, and then the player strength is considered afterwards. And then that's how you get the outcome of it. Yeah, that makes sense. But then again, some matchups are just really... Like, it doesn't matter. Who yeah, some matchup, it doesn't matter, man. You're just taking the L, because it's really tough. Like Rosa Luigi? Yep. Yes. Exactly <laughs> like Rosa Luigi. Still in this game. I think it's, I think Rob is worse than Rosa. For Luigi. Yeah, I can oh. see that. Especially with, like, traction being the way it is on Luigi. You just kind of push him to the ledge, and now he's dead. <laughs> Just reminded me of that song. Now he's dead. Oh, little Uzi. Little, yeah. Push him to the edge. Oh, my, all right, never mind. I don't sing the whole song. Yeah, you can't. You can't actually sing it. We'll get sued. I'm bad at it. Oh yeah, we could. <laughs> it. We, we could. Be, yeah. We don't want the YouTube video to get demonetized and everything. Good point. Wait, good point. Is that real? <laughs> yeah, it real. actually is. It actually is. Are you serious? Yeah, it you actually think you're is. You're singing the song. Yep. 
But you're not playing this song. It's the you it's can't. the lyrics. It catches it by the lyrics from what I from what I remember hearing about it. I think if it's a cover, you're okay. Oh yeah, if it's a cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Man, you two really just be greedy. Nah, you two wild. Yeah, you two right. do so wild. What does Game Watch do to get rid of? Like I I was I saw Luma go away, but I was. not what do you exactly destroy Luma so easily? I think that's uh, what he really needs. I don't. Movie. I don't think it was easy. It looks like he actually had to work for it. it was oh, a lot of projectiles. I like the. I like the down air and the the uh, B to get rid of Luma. Now he now he can kind of go in right without Luma in the way. Mm, yeah, he's got still got to chase uh, Rosalina around. Yeah, and, and that's like. You would think it'd be easier to chase Rosa with Game Watch, right? Because she's so big and floaty. Yeah, you know? like her, she has a tall hurt box. Yeah, she's kind of floaty. You can anti-air her if she tries to land on you with an aerial. It is one of those things where, like, but you, I think it's about nine seconds. I, ca I can't remember the Luma timer exactly, but I know it's somewhere between like nine seconds. So you only have nine seconds to actually fight Rosalina, as opposed to Smash 4's like 13 seconds. I don't know, if someone in the chat knows, let, let me know. But yeah, it, Game of Watch can chase down Rosalina, but like, she does have some tools to kind of give Game of Watch a bit of a struggle in that department. Okay, going deep for edge guard. Oh, how do you get off the ledge? Oh, wow, dash attack, okay. Oh man, this is scary for both players right now. Both that killer sent. Yeah, st st stock one, stock one's really important here. Oh, he went crazy. He went absolutely bonkers for that down there. And uh, Chris wasn't ready to attack. Yeah, I don't think it's too much uh, Shadow Off. He says it used to be 11 second respawn ultimate, and then they reduced the Luma's health from 60 to 48. They brought down Luma's respawn to 10 seconds. Okay. So one, one, one second, one second earlier. Yeah, and it was, it was, I knew, I knew it was 13 seconds for sure. Wait, um, you telling me they nerfed Rosa in their game? Well, it's like, well, yeah, it was like an inherent buff because, like, if you think about it, like, ten seconds for Luma is not too bad, and then they did nerf the knockback on all of Rose's moves. Like, up air isn't as ridiculous oh, as it wait, used to be. No, I knew she was nerfed like from the start of the game. Like, I didn't know that they actually nerfed her in patch. That's yeah, yeah, I mean. yeah. No, well, they they kind of they kind of like a, it was more of like a like a, a balancing. I wouldn't say nerf because like you do have one second earlier of Luma, but. Luma has 48 health. I see. Yeah, yeah. in a lot of matchups, Luma does, doesn't go away due to HP. It's usually because it just gets knocked off stage. Oh, yeah. there you go. Chase him with the back air. And Going up. Rosa, Rosa recovery. Yeah, no, yeah. and then, like, finish off with Z-Fly, I was saying, like, it, Luma, Luma and Hydrant, they actually have to load in their health. So they do have 48 health, but, like, the counter, you have to load in the actual health before they get the full health. So you can knock out Luma pretty fast. <laughs> Alright, so far, doing a pretty good job. A couple aerials here to try to get in here on Chris, but yeah, Chris Luma is not going to fall to it. Yeah, Luma got destroyed. And that's like his, you know, that's his ticket to winning. Yeah, especially with the deficit 69 to 136 and then two stocks down. That's where it's kind of tough, right? Like, I mean, Chris has a lot to work for in this regard. And then that opportunity where he tried to go, I don't know if he was trying to go for a pivot grab or try to call back Luma. That was tough. Good down to up smash though. Yeah, that's the second time he's got that. They didn't even need Luma that time. I oh, actually don't need Luma to make that work. Yeah, you don't. I'm just surprised. Like, well, he's at high enough percent to kill. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, in previous games, I would say this is because Luma up there killed at this percent with rage. <laughs> yeah, that's not the case here though. Yeah, he's gonna have to work for it. It's hard too because he has to make a comeback happen and keep Luma alive as long as possible. Yeah, it's well, it's pretty I tough, but that. like, it, it is how how well can you play the keep away game? <laughs> but he's off stage, so it's gonna be pretty tough if he doesn't come back properly. Yeah, he will get hit by game and watch, but he survives there from the depths. 
Yeah, he'll carry it. Weaving around, oh, making sure he doesn't get hit nice. by a back air from getting wide. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh no. Well, this time he wasn't ready to attack. He bet it all. He bet it all in the down there. Sometimes you gotta do that. That was nice. almost a sick comeback. Yeah, pretty close. 72%. I mean, if Chris had just played pretty well, he actually could have made the comeback if he got him to at least 100. Game & Watch is still pretty light. Yeah, and this is a really nice set from both. I'm enjoying watching this. I actually really like Rosa in this. Yeah? It's just in character. Yeah, I, I think the character. Rosa in the last game, too. It's just like, I didn't like how her. I like the Rosa. I didn't like playing her, though. But I liked her for sure. What's going on in this chat? Yeah, so yeah, it, it is the best of three, by the way, guys. Anything before top eight is best of three, and then top eight and up is best of five. Okay, so let's like our third stage is gonna be Carlos. Mm, yeah, good counter pick, I think. I don't know why, but every Rosa I've played takes me here. <laughs> Kalos? Yeah. Yeah. I can't see. I don't know. I, I really haven't thought about like why it would be a good stage for Rosa, but honestly, she does kind of cover some pretty good space, and the fact that this stage is practically FD with platforms, it's still good for her. Like she's able to cover the space, able to run away when she has to, when she loses Luma, things like that. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two possible reasons I can think of on the top of my head. I think also the platform is good for recovery. Yeah, in, in general, like the wall platform is pretty good. Yeah, the platforms help her set up edge guards. Because they're fair, it can pretty much cover the entire thing. Yeah. Oh man, what a catch. And that's one of the times where Luma up there kills really early. That's kind of rough. I think he actually caught his jump. Like, the frame he did is like double jump to get away up there. Combined with Game Watch being really like best. Yeah, those two, those two in tangent worked really well. Yeah. And now we got the struggle again. Game Watch trying to get in versus Rope while she has uh, Luma. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's retreating back airs. Seems yeah, he's been getting. Like drifts out and then drifts back in. Yeah, I really like the backers from uh, El Fury. He's been, get been getting a tech chase every pretty much. So it's like free damage. And if he doesn't just get a tech chase, it gives him like so much stage control. He's at the percent now where he gets. Even without Lumen, it has good range. Yeah. The best thing about two in this battle oh, yeah. uh, oh, that was good. Damn. Yeah. Caught this man and retreated to a platform and then immediately he got off of it. Tried it came in a little bit too hot, got hit by Luma. Oh, dang, you're going for some desync nonsense. I see you. Dang, this might be a three stock actually. Yeah, I I wouldn't count on it just yet. Like if like I said, if he gets an anti air, that's gonna be curtains on Rosa, Ooh. but depends on how he gets Yo. it. Oh, it did okay, stop. Oh, go. no, it didn't, it didn't. It was too late. It's too late. Yeah, he has to time it correctly to get past the uh, down air game watch. Oh, man. Watch out for this rage roof. Rose at the ledge. Okay, he doesn't. He went for down smash to cover a roll, but he doesn't. Still has Luma alive, so that means Chris. Chris got to be very careful right now. Okay. Uh, L3 really agree to just get the three stock there. Very unsafe as smash on shield, but still a huge lead right now. Okay. 
yeah, I didn't like that. Chris, uh, oh. that sucks that he wasted a nine. But yeah, he got Rosa separated from Luma. And he didn't try to, try to attack Rose again. I, I think we should always. If you have a chance, get rid of Luma. But that down air hitbox is crazy still, even in this game. Yeah, it didn't even look like he did anything. <laughs> like, it looked like Rosa just like put her arms out, and Luma did all the work. Well, I guess this is what always happens, but...